Columbia Memorial Hospital takes pride in that we are a Plain Tree designated hospital. A Plain Tree hospital means we are person-centered care. That means the nurses are going to take care of your loved ones, your animals, your pets when they come, and your patients. We take care of the whole family. So, our community wants and deserves excellent services. And they voice that. They want those services provided here, close to home. The plan to build a new hospital is evidence that CMH is listening to the community. What the community may not know is that while the facility is being planned, financed, and built, the infrastructure inside, the trained nursing staff, is disintegrating, weakening, and at risk. It is coming at the cost to our families, the amount of hours that we're working. We don't see them. We work night shift, we work day shift, because as a group, we're not gonna leave our co-workers hanging, so we step up to the plate. But unless CMH gets it together and can recruit experience. One thing that I just wanted to point out for everybody, and you can kind of look around during these speeches too, all these signs up on these barrels are nurses who have lost hours to the standby or dock time. So what that means is when our patient census is low and the hospital doesn't need as many nurses that were scheduled that day, the nurses take the hit. Not the hospital, the nurses. All these nurses up here lost over 200 hours of their pay just due to not having patients in the hospital. And that's something that we are fighting to improve. We want dot caps for people so that we can keep them. But just take a look throughout this speeches and throughout the night and look at how many hours were lost. Not to the hospital, but to the nurses that they employ. So think about that. If tomorrow your schedule changed, and you lost a third of your income, would you be able to make your bills? Well, it wasn't so easy for us. We're having health issues, and so we're spending more time using our insurance we can't afford so that we're well enough to work while we're arguing with HR over whether or not they're going to cover under FMLA or OFLA. What it does is it acknowledges that nurses are professionals, they're highly educated, they're also at the bedside, they know what their experiences are with their community. If you have a small community, your nurses know you, they go to church with you, they, they're you know, soccer games with you, they're your neighbors, they're your friends. They know you, they know what to do. It's questionable, CEOs do, right? I don't, I don't know. There are a lot of studies on like CEO pay and outcomes of patients. Whereas there's a lot of studies on nurse staffing, uh, nurse work environments being healthy, and good outcomes. So when we pass the law, it's a big law, and it's being managed by a small department. And it's government, right? It's going to take us some time to get there. It, it, it will get there, and it is having a lot of positive changes, but it's going to take time. And some of these rural hospitals are kind of marginalized in the system, and that's why we need this in the contract. If you put this in the contract, the nurses have another way to hold management accountable, to staff the units the way the professionals who work the units need it staffed. That's the important thing. Safe staffing is important on so many levels. It means that a nurse can give their full attention to critical tasks so that mistakes aren't made. It means that nurses don't have to double up on their patient loads in order to get a break in the middle of the shift or even just to go to the bathroom. It means that they can focus completely on that patient that's in front of them so that they don't miss critical clues that mean that that patient is going downhill. We're the American Union movement. When we stand united, when we stand in power, we can accomplish anything. So in truth, while I respect some of the positions of CMH in trying to provide really high quality health care in a rural environment, um, and that's kind of hard sometimes, when you look at the numbers, their profits are pretty sustainable um, and not respecting their workers and not working with them to ensure that their schedules are stable, um, that people can pay their bills here by having that stable schedule and the ability to plan their expenses. That has real implications for care 
for not only them, but for also for, for the patients that get their care out of CMH. In the legislature, when we passed that nurse staffing bill, I supported it. I whipped it on the floor. I made sure it passed. And it wasn't passed as a guideline. It wasn't passed as a set of my